finger in dirt. Steez on them pants and them shirts. Okay. Welcome to another incredibly beautiful day in New York City. I'm on the scout right now just to find something to skate, but I've also been inspired to try something that I never ever do, which is to skateboard standing completely still. And I figure is there not a better way to warm up in this giant's world of awesome water? Great start narration, John. Great start. Figure is there not a better way? So basically I'm gonna post up right next to this stair, try to do stalls on this and see what it's like. I have no experience with this at all. So it's a great way to warm up, a great way to get this video started, and I'm gonna try to impress the hell out of you guys and if I don't Will you me? that would suck on t-shirt in like 40 degree weather. Huh? Just doing some stalls, stationary tricks. This one is a revived skateboard, so it's actually my board. It's my name. Nice to meet you, man. Take care. Who said he respected me? Then we got a security guard and a random pedestrian who are mad. Skateboarding is weird, dude. I'll tell you right now, people who are like, don't skate police stations because it's scary. Police are like the last people who care. It's just the people who have nothing to do with what you're doing that actually care. But you know who does support skateboarding? Squarespace. This video is actually brought to you by Squarespace. If you've been following my channel for a while, I've been using them since day one song. Since day one, I've been using this product to help create all of my dreams and make them become a reality. It is the easiest possible website to use to build websites with tons of templates to choose from, create an identity for your product, AKA you. So click the link at the top of the description below if you wanna go sign up for Squarespace, you get 10% off with that link. Thank you anyone out there who supports a brand that supports me and what I do. It means a lot for Squarespace to help out and for you guys to be here supporting everything that I do. Appreciate you guys. Now back to that uh, that Asian dude, John Hill. Yeah, how, how you doing, man? Good. Chill, chill. I was looking at you, I was like, wait a minute, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your name? Austin. Austin, dude, nice to meet you. Cool. Yeah, dude. I see you, man. Definitely. Take care. Yo, this area is freaking dope. Now, I'm definitely going to get that last trick before we're done with this video. I promise you that. But I wanted to talk about one thing. The, the, the thing this video is about. What's that? Why were they? I was just skating the stair at the bottom and they got all offended by it. Did you see the cop come by? Yeah. A cop came by, hung out with me, and was like, cool with it. So it was just a random pedestrian who was all upset about it. That's how it goes, man. Like, cops never, like, the people who should care don't care, but yeah. the random pedestrians. Yeah. Okay, so I found this article on Emporid.com about 15 unbelievably weird skate inventions that you never knew you needed. These are basically skate inventions that couldn't get off the ground because nobody would really fund them. I think. I don't know. And if you're thinking in your head, John, you're just copying them. You're sort of just, just making a video inspired by their video, but it's almost like the same thing. That is correct. I'm 100% stealing their idea to the very core. Starting with number one, the switchblade. Swing blade. Whoops. So apparently the two wheels in the front pivot slightly. And it kind of looks like a ripstick, the way they gyrate and go up hills. I think it's literally the same movement as a ripstick. And if you gyrate it enough, you can go up hills, which it seems kind of interesting, but there's so many things that do so many similar things that I can't imagine that staying in the business. And then there's the NAR board. Now when it comes to electric skateboards, I've had my fair share of them. I get it, they're cool, but skateboarding to me, it's just so much more fun. But to excel in a electric skateboard is to build a skateboard that is like a tank. And that is what the NAR board is. It's basically a vehicle. Number three is the Shago, the Shago Grom. It's basically a carpet on a penny board. 
That's it. Number four is the skate crate, which is hilarious because it's a replication of the first scooter slash skateboard ever made. It was technically the first skateboard, and I've said this before on a video and people kind of, it hurts the heart, so I understand the people who are upset about this, but the first skateboard was technically a scooter. It's not true. Number five is the hover skater, and on the bottom of the board, it looks like something swells up and actually starts floating. That's impossible. As much as I want to make fun of this one, I want to use it. Like, badly. Number six is the solo shot. I feel like everyone who was on YouTube probably saw an ad for this, and I actually reached out to the brand to get one because it seems like a perfect idea for a vlogger. I don't know why it didn't work out, but I think they didn't really lean into the marketing of people who could actually use it. They just made commercials and spent a lot of money on that, and it just didn't work. So marketing tip 101 for any company out there who makes things that could be used by people. Speeple, have people test it as a review. That's like a really good marketing thing. Anyway, number seven is the keyboard. This just looks like a you make it, we skate it braille invention, so I don't even need to go into detail. It's a keyboard on wheels and trucks. Seems practical. Okay, now that we've reached number eight, I realize that some of these did take off. The one wheel. The one wheel is actually very prominent nowadays. I see a lot of people using it out in the streets. I know people who use different versions of it. This one actually worked out, so good job, one wheel. Number nine is the grind stick. I think this is to help you balance as you go along. It grinds on the ground. It's kind of like, it's like standing up paddle boarding except in the streets. Actually, I think any of these would make a really fun video. So uh, if you're out there and you're watching this, hit up your bike. Number 10 is the no jack. Now this is something you actually plug into your skateboard to attach to a fence, which is a pretty good idea. I think they've made simpler versions of this since then, but it's just a product to save your board from getting stolen if you need to go somewhere and leave your board outside. So this one's actually pretty cool. Number 11 is the poser. It's something that you can attach to your trucks and then hold and lift yourself up as you jump so you don't actually need to learn how to ollie. Unfortunately, an ollie is the premise of doing all skateboard tricks. So if you kind of lose that, then you sort of lose the purpose of like skateboarding, I would feel like. But if you're not into the idea of learning tricks, it might be pretty fun. Fun. Number 12 is the Skato or Scato poop. This one you attach to a bike and as the dude on a bike goes, you can actually hold on behind him and get speed. So if you're going up to a spot and you attach this and you need speed and they can pull you, that's a pretty good idea. But then again, you can sort of just grab their seat. That's something that we've, we've done. Either way, that one I'm not really knocking. I think it's a clever idea. Oh wow. Number 13 is Rebel Skates and it was a business that just wanted to paint custom boards for their customers. And although they were trying to raise $450,000, they reached $20. So that's good. Alright, number 14 I actually wanted. I wanted this board. It was the bow board. It's this weird bouncing thing that's pretty much like a scooter. Literally since what I just said, I watched a video on it and I want it less. <laughs> It looks really ridiculous. You're just bouncing up and down to build speed and go, so it's kind of exercise, which isn't the whole idea of a skateboard and a scooter to get somewhere faster and easier and to do tricks and stuff, but if it's that much more difficult to just go, whatever, I'd play with it. Number 15 is candy grip. Now this is grip tape to where like when you're walking up to it, it's one color and then by the time you get to it, it looks like a different color. Anyways, I hope you appreciate these 15 unbelievably odd projects. Hats off to anyone who tries to be innovative in skateboarding. I appreciate it like crazy. A lot of times when people come from outside of skateboarding, they try to build a product for skaters. They sort of don't know where to start. And sometimes they have these adventures that end up just being kind of horrible. Some of them were pretty cool. I would definitely test any of these. Speaking of skateboarding, that's all I want to do today. I just want to cruise around, get the trick that I got kicked out for doing, skate this thing behind you that you're going to be like, say what? And just get a dope session. Have some fun. What's up? Is that legal? Yeah. Yes. Why do pedestrians care? Why do pedestrians care? What's up? Don't stand up there. Don't stand up there. Yeah, this is federal right here. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. No worries. You can do it over there. Oh, okay. How you doing? People are weird. How you doing, Doc? God. What's up with you? How are you? Bro, what? <laughs> oh yeah. How you I doing, can't man? believe I see you here. <laughs> honestly, bro, you inspire me so much to skate. I appreciate that. Your videos that. are honestly hot. Taking a picture with you. Yeah, of course, of course. Actually very difficult for no reason at all. Staying still tricks 
it's not worth it. If you're used to momentum, doing the still trick challenges are so difficult. Unfortunately today, there's so much work to get done. If you're used to my videos, then I usually go on an adventure every single day and try to find something new about New York City, which I did today to an extent. I didn't really go around and find something specific, but this area has been super new to me, so it was fun exploring, getting kicked out of places, getting my skate on. I had a good time, but there's one thing I wanna end this video doing, and it's reviewing this 11-year-old who sent me footage of him skateboarding. I watched the first few tricks, and then I was like, I gotta save this for a video, because people out there are gonna be like, what? So this is an 11-year-old from Santa Cruz who hit me up and was like, yeah, sponsor me tape for Progress Daily. I don't really sponsor people for my company, but I can send products out and whatnot. Sponsoring is like such a slippery slope because then you get endless emails of people just like, can I have free stuff? I don't really skate, but. So this guy's name is Dylan Williams, which happens to be another really good skateboarder. But yeah, let's see what we're getting into starting raw now. Yo, that was a good nose gun. Oh, handrails at 11 years old. That is a very good start, my friend. Damn, board slide 5 0 bonk. Yo, whoa, no complaints though. He's on that trend life. That slope, whoa, my gosh. That's a long 50, okay, okay. You hear the background? What the hell was that in the background? Somebody's like, oh. Okay, Ollie from the tall part to the small part. Disaster, pretty F out. Wow, that's hard. Spots like that are hard. The barracks. Big 10 stair. Lost right. Front boarding handrails. Nollying the five, good, good, good. To skate switch or nollie for someone this young is a good, good start. Crook down a ledge, that's pretty tight. Ah, oh, okay, flip. Replay slow motion. Banger. Ender, steez on them pants and them shirts. Okay, honestly, when he said he was from Santa Cruz, California, I was like, this dude's probably already kind of good. Being from California, I tell you, you're just surrounded by dudes who are just in it every single day, so it's so easy to get good. I would say with someone like that, there's a lot of promise. I don't really sponsor, I just, I really don't, but dude, hit me up. Probably be down to send you something for sure, dude. You're freaking killing it out there, fool. But speaking of products, make sure you go in the link in the description below if you want to check out all of the clothing. I have summer and fall down there right now. I'm taking all the summer off very soon, but for now, you can go down there and cop, and people have been really stoked, and I wanna say this, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate all the hillbillies out there supporting you, boy. Cause I'm just out here every single day trying to live it to the fullest. Guys, I appreciate today. I appreciate this existence out here, being in New York, being able to do what I do and have as much fun as I possibly want. <gasps> it's been great. And tomorrow, I promise I will go more out and about, more exploring around the city, which I didn't do as much of today as I wanted to, but I basically postponed all my work for the last two weeks or so, and today is the day to crunch on that. And that's just boring for you guys to watch. I don't want you to stay tuned for that, so today, this is it. I appreciate Appreciate you being here, watching my video, showing love. Seriously, everybody out there who gives me an ounce of your time, I appreciate you like crazy. I love what you do for your boy. I love all the support that people out there have given me because if it weren't for you, this life would not be this life. Anyways, guys, love you so much. Progress daily and keep going.